Well, there's no doubt that I would not have children. There's no doubt in my mind that without the transplant, I would not have Elizabeth and Aaron. Faith Carlin's journey to motherhood began with life-threatening health issues, a result of a 15-year struggle with diabetes. I didn't realize what a toll it was taking on my body. They were telling me that I could go blind and my kidneys were failing and I would need dialysis. At age 30, doctors recommended a combined kidney and pancreas transplant. I knew nothing about organ donation. I uh, never heard of, of a transplant before that day that I talked to my nephrologist. Faith was added to the national transplant waiting list. With dialysis looming in her future, she got the call. A young man had died and his family donated his organs. I remember going into the surgery and handing over my insulin pump and saying, please be careful with this. I may need this again. <laughs> Several hours later, Faith emerged from surgery. The next thing I remember is, is waking up to my mother singing. I said, Mom, did, did I have the transplant? And she said, oh, yeah. She said that um, everything was great, that, um, you know, my kidney was already working, my blood sugar was already normal, and it couldn't be better. And, um, you know, we just cried together. For most patients awaiting transplants, the journey back to health begins here at Gift of Life Donor Program, which coordinates organ and tissue donations in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware.